hi there welcome back to another class so in that class we just gonna learn the new thing and my friend uh, he want to ask, ask me a question how to do this effect actually this uh, is a warp warp and this and sunken down in O so how to do that actually uh, on our uh, Adobe Illustrator we have the option for the warp option so we can easy, uh, easily warp down but uh, this effect a uh, little bit different uh, than a uh, warp effect so let's do that and how to do that and actually uh, they um, take a uh, font uh, this uh, collegiate style font make it uh, right take down P R O U D proud then uh, make it uh, control T just uh, uh, just effect it collegiate C O C O L I just uh, so this font i think i think this uh, will be the better and perfect and uh, always uh, remind that uh, remember that uh, this uh, if you uh, if you need this uh, character option so you can uh, control your text or so press the control t so press control t t when you, uh, you get this uh, uh, get this out pop up bar like that so then uh, in, uh, decrease this uh, between size between them like this so now it's uh, uh, perfect so what to do now uh, first of all uh, make it bigger then uh, make it now it uh, takes uh, now it uh, takes mode you know AWS uh, when you type mode is uh, now text format so what to do then uh, you have to make it uh, in vector format so you know every single thing in AWS Twitter you need to vector so make it create outline so after create outline uh, we have to go uh, we have to go object then uh, envelope distort envelope distort uh, then make with mesh make with mesh so you get this uh, envelope mesh option this make it 5 and columns 5 5 so this is a uh, pretty simple when you click it you uh, if you have preview option so in here you get a uh, get uh, get this arrow this a uh, uh, mesh uh, row option so this is the thing i have uh, uh, rows uh, row th i give uh, five and uh, mesh I, I give five mesh and columns i give uh, also five so then okay so this now i'm again to tell that go to object object envelope disturbed envelope distort then uh, make with in here you get mesh so in here you get uh, for me let's do that you have to uh, choose this uh, direct selection tools uh, so press a uh, control make it a uh, ruler activated control r to make it reach ruler activated so then let's do that just make ruler perfectly so how to do that select this uh, direct selection tools uh, and then then click this uh, click this anchor point then you have this uh, line to make it uh, perfectly so then I got this one and also for that one okay so now what to do now I just make it uh, bigger a uh, little bit uh, bigger and then R for this line and make it perfectly and i remember that how much you spend time it will be more perfect and more smoother so make it uh, more perfect because i'm making video i don't want to make this video too much longer so let's uh, do that so now we have this uh, r make it r this is pretty much uh, done 
you can in that how we have this one so this line so you see this uh, o was uh, sunk in so see this o is a little bit uh, sunk in so what to do then i just use it i just use this line so make it uh, perfectly so you have uh, you have a handle or uh, handle for call for this control so in like that how if you do any mistake so press the control uh, z like this like that one so the you know arab illustrator most of this uh, fun thing uh, if you um, if you know this uh, rule of arab illustrator so this is really this will be easy for you and you know the uh, best quality work how much you spend time and uh, how much you to professional it's a uh, different on that so i must say spend more time because i'm rushing i don't want to make this uh, video too much longer so this one so i think uh, u is perfect okay make it a little bit smoother then You see that that's the boom that's uh, pretty much done so then uh, object expand so make it expand because uh, they, they, then it will be, don't have this row so you can uh, control it easily so then uh, after after expand then you can uh, control this uh, control this anchor point uh, using the direct selection tools So that's how you can uh, make it is really uh, this effect and that's it uh, that's uh, that's really I think that's really helpful for you and uh, if you have faced any kind of uh, issues or problem don't hesitate uh, we are just a family and uh, we want to share this uh, Adobe Illustrator talent to everyone so if you want to learn in Adobe Illustrator professionally you can uh, see my uh, YouTube videos uh, there's I have I provide a lot free classes I don't want to make a make a course for that I just want to I just want everyone can learn this uh, thought so they can make their own design so if you learn want to learn this Adobe store professionally so you can see my channel so then object expand send to back So we are done.
so I think you guys uh, enjoy this class so if you think um, that's a really helpful and uh, you wrote your time it save your time and don't forget to subscribe because uh, you know this uh, making uh, this type of video isn't uh, I have to make a lot of preparation for that so if you make it uh, make it uh, subscribe we make a bigger family so we are that we are the family so give the subscribe button and please if you have any question any confusion don't hesitate you can comment down i will uh, answer the every single uh, you get this your what you want and wish you proper respect your time and if you think that's really helpful for you please subscribe and make this family bigger uh, if we make it together we can make these changes and thank you so much